Folk art, like the person who paints it, doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. And with a few simple hand painting techniques, you can quickly transform the walls, floor and furniture. Measure a length of brown paper and use this to work out your design in chalk. Have something to copy to make it easier, but try not to think too hard about the shapes. Each mark you make should be fluid, like a natural extension to everyday movement. When you've finished, place the design on a piece of cardboard or carpet and use a tailor's pounce wheel to trace over the lines. And if you don't have a pounce wheel, you can use a pin. Gently rub away the raised perforations on the back of the paper with fine sandpaper. Use a climber's chalk bag or make your own with an old sock and a few sticks of chalk. Replace the design on the wall and rub the chalk bag over the surface. The design is transferred to the wall perfectly and you can use the template again and again. Thin down some emulsion with a little water until it runs like single cream. If the paint's too thick, this technique is really hard. Before you start, load the brush and practice some freehand strokes on a spare bit of paper. It's important that you keep the end of the bristles at a right angle to the wall and use the whole of your arm to move the brush over the surface rather than just your fingertips. This sweeping motion is how you make the long smooth lines. To make them thicker, apply a little more pressure. And to create the leaves and circle shapes, press and twist the brush fluidly. Mistakes can always be painted out afterwards. Here we've used ochre weave as the background colour, olive branch for the stem and chalky downs 4 for the leaves, with Russian rouge and gypsy bloom 3 for the berries. Keep practising until you're happy and watch this video a few times if it helps too.